when you go in there's a so it depends who is going to get it because somebody no i'm getting it right now no i'm paying right now no i'm paying right now this is it it's so cute i like it okay so when we can we just come in so you just come in there is a bathroom the bathroom is here there and there is a this thing i think this is water but then you got you got wet yeah so the doors are glass doors i don't know if you can see there is that thing here there is a, a wardrobe. I don't know if it's bad or not. Okay, there's a wardrobe. And then there's like these things that the person who used to stay here left. So hi guys, good afternoon, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you're new here, my name is Kathy Momba and I'm trying to find like the gamma sun because the sun is, <coughs> this thing is going, it's going down, it's like 5 p.m. Anyway, so guys, welcome to officially a new video, I am about to take a shower i just got home i feel a little bit tired i'm about to take a shower sorry for wearing this headset but there's a lot of things going on under this hair and i really cannot so i'm about to take a shower clean up my house and just really pack stuff in order because my house has been dirty like yes it's been so dirty so I'm about to do all of that and then I'm gonna take you guys along with everything that I'm gonna do but the first thing I want to so yeah we're about to get started cleaning I'm wearing a chitenge I think you guys can see in the mirror behind me I'm in a chitenge in the jersey and this beanie so so this is the before of what the living area looks like and then this is the before of what the sink area looks like things are dirty yeah but it's only the sink area and the living area basically the floor is clean because i cleaned it yesterday because i was feeling lazy to do other stuff so yeah those are the, some of the things that ish guys this is not right it shouldn't even be happening in real life but anyway, so when you guys see me cleaning, it's not, my house is not always clean. It's sometimes a mess. I was standing on the floor, hence the pillows on the floor. Um, and then I was shooting as well, hence the ring light. I don't even know what's messing up my wall. And I feel like I'm going to put like wallpaper on this wall. So basically, yeah, guys. Guys, okay. my house is literally this like is one whole nice. room. I don't know if that makes sense. Though the bedroom is not here. 
but this is like a mini, <laughs> a mini house tour. So basically, that's my house. This is my closet and like my pantry area. That's the outside. That's the bathroom in that corner. The sink area. And then that's my kitchen, my mini kitchen. But that nonsense there has to go. Like I really cannot. Anyway, let's not talk too much. cleaning my dishes now because the floor was mopped yesterday i had swept such so things were everywhere so i'm about to start doing my dishes luckily my stuff is already clean and everything else is clean so i have managed let me show you guys so i have managed to put stuff together right like yeah everywhere everywhere i haven't just packed what's on my table and i'm doing almost a minute and all but i've been able to put everything together i'm gonna like Mm, finish it all off properly but yeah um anyway we're gonna get done with that soon but anyway let's get to the dishes now so that we can finish quickly Actually, done my cornrows. Yeah, it's just this regular regular cornrows. So hi guys, I am cooking now. Today is a Sunday. I feel like it's been a whole lot of days since I started this. Yeah, guys, it's been a long time since I since I started this vlog, right? So I think it's been like two days later. I think the last time I vlogged was. Should have been on um, on on Thursday or Friday. I think that's the day that that was the last time I vlogged. But anyway, cooking. Why? Well, tell you guys the story of how I moved out of my parents' house. I hope that works. Cause honestly, I think I have gotten used to the vlog kind of situation. That I I feel like doing a sit down is really not gonna work for me. I don't know if you guys understand that, but it works whatever works for me guys i'm gonna be cooking i'm gonna be making means and potato salads and spaghetti i hope i have spaghetti because i don't want to eat my curry anyway so guys basically um how did i move out of my mom's house okay first things first it's only natural that when i am at school i don't stay home because like home is a little bit far from school for a while i think last year in my third year for my second semester third year second semester i stayed at home i was coming from home and then going to school it was quite a lot it was a lot of work it was so stressful so i decided that i was gonna move from home so basically my moving from home could have meant living on campus or some peeling my potatoes guys that's why i keep looking now but anyway my moving from home could have meant um leaving leaving home um uh, moving to campus or staying in a boarding house so basically for those that already know if you've watched my get to know me video i mentioned in the video that i am a new technician so that's basically I would say my side hustle <laughs> um that's basically my main source of income so it's not even a side hustle is it a side hustle anyway so it's um that's my source of income i am a nail technician so i there's a place that i do nails from so i was trying to my first the first thing i was looking at 
when I considered moving was how much I was gonna have to pay for rent. So I considered how much I was already paying for the space that I do nails from because it's a boarding house but I don't stay there. So I was just renting a room. So I got tired of the boarding house arrangement because you know, if you're in Zambia, you know how boarding houses are. They just have so many restrictions and I wasn't having that. So we are making means. So I wasn't gonna have that. I just really got tired because I had stayed in boarding houses and on campus. This is my fourth year. Guys, if this story, oh my God. If this story is everywhere, everywhere, don't mind me, but I am just really trying to, it's a chit chat basically. So anyway, um, I'm not cooking everything, I'm leaving some. Yeah, so anyway, because from my first year, I'm in my fourth year currently. So from first year, in first year, I stayed in a boarding house. But like, it always felt like that's not the place for me. I don't know if you get what I mean. Um, then in second year, I stayed on campus with a friend of mine then also third year some part of third year okay some part of first year i also stayed on campus like it's so complicated i have lived on campus before and i have lived um in a boarding house before so i know how both environments kind of are so i didn't want to live on campus and i didn't want to live in a boarding house so i told myself like okay girl it's time because if not now then when honestly so i decided to start looking for a house so the main reason i was looking for a house was because i was really just trying to find a place to do nails from because i was working um on at the time i think i was working on house co basis i used to go to people's houses their offices so you guys i feel like the camera is not sitting properly i was working on house co basis and i was um it was getting tiresome. I did have a car, so it wasn't so difficult to work. But at the same time, uh, guys, it was really too much. Like moving from one place to another, it was kind of limiting me. So I was looking for a house so that I can find, um, I can have a space to do nails from. But when I found this particular house where I'm staying right now, I decided this is so beautiful. It's not a place that I want to share with other people. So I decided to stay at a boarding house where I already used to do the nails from. So yeah, basically that's what I did. So journey to finding this house. I feel like I've rambled a lot. Anyway, so how I found this house. Um, I was searching for houses on Facebook, on the Facebook marketplace. It was so difficult to find a house, guys. It was really difficult. I think I searched for like months and months and months and months trying to, trying to find a house. I tried, I tried, I tried to search. The search actually got serious in January of this year. I kept on trying to find a house, but I still couldn't find. February came, I kept on trying to find a house, but I still couldn't find. And then um, March came, I kept on trying to find a house because school open month end of um, February so like March I was supposed to like start going to school on a serious note because um hold on guys anyway so yeah because school was opening in March and then um yeah so I decided I'm like uh okay I need to get here so I started like seriously praying about it I'm like God please I'm asking for a house you would find places like really cute houses but they went in the area around the school areas because it's quite difficult to find like a place to stay near my school so yeah i kept on searching so there was this one time there's a friend of mine who was also looking for a house at the same time that i was looking so she asked me if i could also like be looking out for her while i look for mine you know guys like that's the time that I learned this lesson. Like, if there is somebody that wants the same thing that you're looking for, you looking out for them or you helping them out doesn't disqualify your chances of getting whatever it is that you're looking for. Like me getting from my light 
lighting up somebody else's candle does not dim my light i don't know if that makes sense so what happened was um when i was still looking for a house i found her house first so i found the house and then i went to take a look at it because initially i didn't know that i was i wasn't gonna like the house or anything so i called up the agent and i asked him i'm like oh when can i meet you he's like okay let's meet tomorrow morning and i'm like oh all right so the following day came and early in the morning i went to meet up with him then i told then i looked at the house and it really wasn't what i wanted um again it brings us to the second point sometimes we don't find what we're looking for because we aren't clear on what it is that we're looking for so i wasn't really clear on what i wanted so when i looked at the house i'm like oh my god it's so pretty it was really close to what i would have loved but it wasn't because the landlord was staying in the yard in the same yard the house was okay but i felt like she would have like some restrictions because she lived in the yard so that was really a red flag for me i'm like no i can't do that so i called my friend i'm like hey girl i found um a house that i think would work for you it's near school and everything she's not an unza but her young sister is and they were going to be staying together so she really wanted a place that was gonna work for the both of them so anyway i called her and then she's like okay just hold on to the agent let me come just now but she was coming from far so she came and then she looked at the house she was like oh my god this is perfect it's exactly what i was looking for what 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 and in my head i'm like wow yeah so she was like this is the perfect house for me and everything and like now i'm thinking i'm working that day right so i'm thinking i'm telling god i'm like god honestly like i've also been looking for a house and am i gonna find one this whole process has been so difficult and everything i really need lip gloss but i don't know my lip gloss this process has been so difficult i don't know when i'm gonna find the house and everything so i was just really just telling god oh my god i need a house yeah. i've noticed i'm always putting lip gloss in my vlog but don't mind me guys anyway so yeah um and then an idea popped up in my head and i was like you know coming to think of it i haven't even like written down what exactly i want about my house maybe that's why i can't even find it because everything i'm trying i'm finding is not making sense because i wasn't clear so i went to my notes um app on my phone and then i wrote down some notes of what i wanted and some of the things that i wanted were i wanted it to be a one bedroom house with a modern bathroom it should have like glass windows and it should have a mini balcony it may it shouldn't be like on the ground floor and everything like i just really Mm, got a little bit specific and yeah i think it was about a day later if i'm not mistaken mm, i was on facebook i was still at my mom's house i was on facebook scrolling and oh and i'm really on facebook so i was only on facebook at that time because i was looking for a house so i was on facebook and i was scrolling like checking oh my god like can i find something can i find something it was in the evening it was around it was a little bit after um 6 p.m and i was talking to a friend of mine over the phone like just kind of complaining to them like oh my god i don't know if i'm gonna find a house school has opened moving from home to stay every day is taking up so much of my gas and everything and i was just really done with it so i decided i'm like okay let me check facebook so i started checking facebook then i saw um somebody like an agent i think who posted a house saying no there's a house in such and such an area what 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 but there were no pictures but his contact was there and he just posted it i think a few minutes ago it was like four minutes ago um yeah he had just posted it at four minutes ago so i'm like oh my god what am i gonna do and i'm at home my house is so far so um, Mm, i was like okay let me just call him and find out so i called him i'm like hi i saw your post on facebook and whatever and then he's like yeah the house is available and i'm like okay can i come and see it like when can i come and see it i asked that he's like if you're interested like if you're really really interested come and see it now yo i thought 
I'm like my house is literally 30 minutes drive to town so what am I gonna do and then town and then the other side of town and I'm like oh my god so um, I was like okay let me come then he started trying to make it seem so difficult to get to you know he kept on saying no you have to go to this place go pick up the person who is to stay in the house and come to this other place and go pick up um the agent and then go to this other place he just tried to make it so difficult i'm like listen i have gas for all of that i am going to pick up everyone who's supposed to be involved so i'm gonna link like i'm gonna put the video to show you guys how everything went like the first day i saw the house yeah you guys will just forgive me because it's not it's not in landscape but it's in portrait so i don't know if you guys will be able to see all of that so anyway i came to see the house and guys number one the road to get to the house is just the only thing that was discouraging me i was just like this place oh my god but when we got here i was in love i'm like oh my god this is the house it had sorry guys it had the small balcony that i wanted the glass doors a modern bathroom and i'm just like ah! thank god like it just all that only came after i had written down and i was clear about what i want so i feel like like this is my advice to anybody that wants anything in their lives you know like be clear just don't say anything anything because anything is also not sure like how do i get to you like i want you to want me enough you know like be clear about whatever it is that you want you know so i go up it was only after i got clear that i got exactly what i wanted because if i i feel like if i wasn't clear enough because like god was ready to give me what i wanted but at the same time i wasn't clear enough with what i wanted so anything that was gonna come my way i was gonna say no to it why because i know what i don't want but at the same time i don't i don't know what i want you get what i mean so yeah i go to the house and then like a few minutes after we get here i'm look i'm still looking at the house and somebody else calls hi i saw your post and whatever can i pay right now she hasn't even seen the house i'm like are you crazy <laughs> no i was like no 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 no. i am gonna pay for this house i it does a joke so um yeah i decided to pay for the house and another thing the landlord doesn't stay here if anything the landlord doesn't even stay in zambia I was just like if this is not good then i don't know like and then i really do not know because the landlord doesn't even stay here guys the landlord is not even in the country i don't even know the landlord the landlord doesn't know me it was so amazing it was just really really nice anyway so yeah basically that was my journey to coming to stay alone so i found the house when i left home that evening i didn't tell my mom that i was looking for a house so i would tell my mom that i want to move out and all oh, and she would like be against it you know how zambian african parents um should always be against it no you just want to leave me what 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 i'm like no it's not even that it's just getting too hectic for me you know like when i come back from school and after work and having to drive a whole long distance because driving is really tiresome guys like if you don't have a car you wouldn't know this but driving is so tiresome and then i tell people this they'll be like just sitting and then you're moving i'm like <laughs> driving is really tiresome especially in traffic your foot hurts like you're just tired especially if you're like really tired not in your right sense uh right mindset you will be so tired so yeah i was so exhausted all the time but she was she was really mad even when i told her that i paid for a house and everything she was upset it was after i think two months of me living home that she actually even came to see my house yeah she didn't even come and see it like almost immediately but yeah eventually she got in line and this is also another thing like sometimes the people around us are not really gonna support the decisions we make but even within ourselves we need to know as young people that it's time even if it's your parents even if it looks like you're being rebellious like act rebellious just know where you stand in your heart to you get that i mean i knew it was a, it was gonna be expensive for me to pay rent here at my house and also for my work and also like my groceries and everything i get very little help from my mom but at the same time i have to like do everything like foot all my bills i don't get help from anyone i do everything myself but there came a point in my life i told myself like look girl you're 24 years old 
there is nothing that can stop you at this point if you get hungry you must find a way to eat if you need a bed to sleep on you must find a way to find where to sleep you get what i mean so um yeah i really just told myself i pushed myself i'm like girl we've done this before we cannot fail because like this is like me moving out of my mom's house is after i even bought like two cars already so i'm like what can i afford to do like don't get me wrong at this point i didn't even have like money like that because it was like right after i bought my car because i bought my car in december and then this was like march so i hadn't really recovered money in all but at the same time i'm gonna like just kind of make another video about the financials and whatever but like at this point that's really just how i moved out of home and yeah that's how come i got here to where i am in my beautiful house so i am officially welcoming you guys to this series of videos called living alone diaries just showing you guys how um life as a 20 something year old you know and just being a young girl conquering her dreams going after everything like there's really nothing that stands in my way honestly for me as long as i have prayed for me as long as god is still faithful for me as long as god is still on the throne <laughs> everything i want i shall get it and honestly i do my best i work so hard i am always working i am always doing everything that i'm supposed to do so i feel like there shouldn't be anything to stand in my way like no matter how hard things get i always push for them so yeah basically and my very first purchase when i got here i had to buy my couch like two of my couches because i have like a two-seater and a one-seater then i already had a fridge because i was staying in a boarding house and i had to purchase a bed a mattress because i wasn't getting anything from home because the things at home were like really big and this house is like really tiny so i had to purchase some things and all and i had to repaint this house because it wasn't white it was i don't know that color i think it was like purple yeah and yeah basically you guys are gonna see me transform my house just do renter friendly transformations and whatever i haven't really been doing much to this house so far because i i didn't like at school just got really busy it just got um it just have everything happened so fast so i just really needed a place to stay to put my head down but now that i'm finally getting settled in i thought i should take you guys along with me through the whole journey and everything because these are things that people rarely talk about about how young people can like get independent on their own and i hope that i can inspire somebody out there who wants to take a journey on their own it wasn't easy to get here the financials everything gets hard sometimes sometimes i have to like go a month without having to buy groceries it's not the extremes it's not that bad because you know food is easy to get you can always call somebody like do you want to buy me some lunch do you want to buy me some dinner when somebody buys you dinner you're like okay i'm gonna have to share this in three because even tomorrow even tomorrow i'll have to eat so you share all of that people always like offering to buy you stuff and all which is good but like as long as i have paid my rent that is important so it gets back to priorities you know you have to prioritize yeah some people actually stay in like living with their families is so toxic so you need the courage to leave home you know like i'm not saying that home was toxic for me home was if i had things my way if like life was that easy i would definitely be home right now yeah because i'm the only child that's not home all my siblings are at home yeah so if life was that easy in real life i would have been at home as well but it's not that easy i had to choose because like buying gas every day was so expensive so yeah you have to pick it's a fight every day in life you know so you have to pick what fight is a better fight for you at least one that doesn't leave you drained all the time so um, yeah guys i think this is basically um where my video ends for today this is basically an introduction to how i got here and why i got here and so yeah i want to take you guys along this whole journey um <clears throat> so i hope you guys like such kind of videos and i hope this propels me in a whole different move so anyway guys i have seen a lot of videos on youtube of how 
girls like do it on their own you know <laughs> i have learned quite a lot on youtube so i feel like it's finally time to like give back you know i literally learned how to drive on youtube i learned a lot of things on a daily on youtube i learned how to do nails good nails on youtube i learned everything everything on youtube so it's just time finally to just give back to the youtube pool of knowledge so yeah guys i will see you obviously in my next video don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and if you like this content please comment and let me know what you like and give me ideas of what you guys would like to see on this channel home so, bye guys this is what i have cooked i have made pasta with a salad and then my juice is there and yeah basically this is my supper Thank <laughs> you.